hello everybody out there. How y'all doing? I hope y'all well. I have recently just been watching the best of soul music. And I heard a song that I ain't heard in years. And I thought, you know what? That describes me to a T. So I'm just going to give you a kind of itty bitty bitty bit of that song. See if you can see where I substituted the words. So he goes, I'm a soul mama. Oh, Lord. Oh, yes, I am. I'm a soul mama. Cooking up a storm. I'm a soul mama. Come to me right now as I cook for you. Stuff marrow. I was just about to say, isn't it telling that this no longer makes me laugh because I'm so used to it and then he picked up the marrow and it made me laugh. Well, what can I say? <laughs> Today, oh my gorgeous peeps, we shall be making a dish that kind of is an old-fashioned sort of a thing people used to do all the time. But I'm doing it now and this is stuffed marrow. Because Now, this is a marrow and this is a courgette. A lot of people don't know the difference. Can you see? Oh yeah, absolutely. One looks like a watermelon skin and the other one looks like a... Yes, like a okay. Yeah. But also there's a difference when you cut it. So I'm going to show you because this marrow is going to be stuffed with courgette, aubergine, peppers, carrots, tomatoes, and bind it together with some cornbread. Yum. Okay. So, first thing first, let me... We have to cut our marrows. Now, I'm going to do them about that bit because, you know, you need some something so you can stuff. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go here. Mm -hmm. All right. And then we're going to go there. We're going to go there. Cut this end off. So I'm going to get four. Get Let's four just, out of eight. Let me just see how many. I'm going to lay them in here. See how many we're going to get. I'm hoping, because this is my vegetarian option this week for the, now this one here, it's a little bit soft. So what I'm going to do is just cut around there. Okay. So this one's going to go inside. Right, okay. Get that there, but I'm going to show you what you got to do those ends up. This one's not as bad as that one was. Go there. Okay, so what you're going to do is you then need to get a spoon and you want to just go around. Alright. So just the middle bit. Will it be quite, let me have a look, will it be quite obvious? Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. and it's quite firm, but you want to leave a bit at the bottom, okay? Got it. So okay. you've got to leave some at the bottom. So let's just take this out. Are we going to be using this? Or is I'm not sure. It's a lot of seed. Got it, okay. And I could, but I'm, I'm whoops, keep that bottom in. So, well, let's come back to me once I've dug these out, okay? okay? So, as you can see, I've got them all hollowed out. Next, you want to just take a little bit of salt. Sprinkle some salt through them. I'm going to take some love dust. I'm going to take some olive oil. I might as well use this last bit. So, let's just sprinkle this over. And then at this stage, we're going to put it straight in the oven because we're going to let this cook a little bit. And while that's cooking, I'm going to be preparing what the stuffing bit. So let's just stick these straight into a hot oven. And while they go into the oven, it's time to prep, okay? So we're going to be stuffing these, like I said, with some aubergine. So let's just get our aubergine. And I'm going to do it... You do need to kind of do it a little bit small, otherwise this stuff ain't going to fit in these mm -hmm. little holes. But what I'm doing is, I'm going to be doing quite a bit, um, because then 
I'm going to be using this veg as well to go. I'm um, for the home for the food bank. I'm making some curry chicken this week, so I'm going to do a curry chicken with rice, um, and then some of this is going to be with the drizzle of vegetables. Oh wow! Yum. Which will be these vegetables here. Yeah. Okay, so let's just get this. So you can see that. I'll come back to these, but let me just get the rest. All right, so hang on. Are you prepping all of it? So you're chopping everything? Yes, yeah, so I'm going to... Right, well, don't need to see you chopping So you everything. don't need to see me chopping, but I'm going to chop and prep mm -hmm. all of these. This courgette, these um, peppers, the onion, and the carrots. Okay, okay? cool. So come back to me. Okay. Okay, as you can see, I am chopping up all of this veg, mm -hmm. but I need to get going my onion and my garlic and ginger okay. so I'm just going to get that in the pan because that's your basis and you want to get that base flavor oh and we need some chilies I'll get my chilies out freezer yeah they're in the freezer okay I'll get it for you in a sec okay so I saw that was a large spring onion but it could just be a yeah onion. it could be a regular onion you know just onion. I use what I have. Yeah. And I have this giant spring onion that looked like a regular onion. So I figured that was enough. Okay, so to this, I'm gonna add some low some olive oil. To that, I'm going to add my love dust. Straight to that, I'm adding this onion and for convenience, I have some chopped frozen garlic. Let's get this in and some chopped frozen ginger. Mmm, that's good. That's good. All right, can you get the chilies? And um, yeah, can you look in the freezer on the door? Okay, I'm gonna pop that on the top. Have a look at that. Okay, uh, some green chilies. Some red chilies. Give me a red and a green. Yes. Oh, careful! What are you doing? It's stuck. All right. Well, then look in the drawer. There's loads of chilies there at the bottom. Yeah. You don't have to get it off the door. Look in the door. In the drawer. Bags of chips. Just get me out one of those large orange ones. It's not a bag open. All right, I'll just take that. Orange for green stuff? No, that'll do. Okay. Do you recommend people freezing their chilies? Oh, yeah, definitely. Chilies go off so quick. I buy them in bulk and then I put them in the freezer. This bad boy will be defrosted within a minute. Ooh, but I also it. like it because this way you can cut really thin like that. Oh, okay, cool. Like that. You can almost like shave it off. This is just so easy. And they get nice really thin bits. How easy that is. Mm. And also, there you go. So, let's get these chilies thrown in. That was a sneeze, by the way. <laughs> In case anyone's wondering. Okay, so now let's quickly, let me just quickly get my peppers. My peppers in. This my peppers. Mm hmm. It smells amazing. Good, doesn't it? Okay. okay. So let's just get these in and head over there and have a look at that screen here. Yeah. Yellow peppers in. So colourful. I love cooking with colour. It's important, I think. Yep. 
spit like people. Mix it up. <laughs> Colorful. The world would be such a bland place if you all look the same. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Look at that. Don't that look good? Okay, now, to that, I'm going to add my aubergines and courgette. <laughs> Right on the top. Okay. So if people wanted, they could put mushrooms in oh, it. You or... put anything you want. <coughs> anything. So now, let me just get my tomatoes here. And what I'm going to need is, I've got a big bowl because this is going to need to go into, not that bowl, okay. to the big silver bowl. Okay. Because we're going to need to go in there to mix this okay. stuff Okay, I'll get that for you once get that in a minute. Okay. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Cool, all right. Come back when it's kind of cooking. Yeah. Okay. I'm just grating up some carrot. And this is going into oh, that's it. That's going to be amazing. As well, all those colours and flavours and these textures. What are you looking for? There it is. Yeah, let me just take it down here. Okay. Look at this, guys. So, to that, let's just add a little bit of black pepper. And then, we just want to give this a good stir. Spices, the, the spices chili. and the chilies. <laughs> Don't that look good? It looks amazing. Let's put that back on. Okay, so all of these bits here, I'm saving because I'm going to boil it so that's up. That's the inside of the marrow. Yeah, and I'm going to boil all of this up to make vegetable stock. To make some vegetable stock, because I've got to cook up some rice later. So I'm going to use that for my stock for my rice. Yum. Okay. Great. All right. I'm leaving those soft tomatoes. So now, <clears throat> I'm in the bowl. Mm -hmm. So here we go. <clears throat> Let me just stir. Oh, just got a shot of ginger. Did you? Yeah. Well, the smell of it. Smell of it. Yeah, just waft of it came right up my nostrils. Okay. It was lovely. Okay, so take this. I'm going to just pour it all in here because I want all of that goodness. Yummy, yum. Okay, now put a little bit more love dust in there. So now what I'm going to do, because we're not done. And take out our marrows. Okay. They barely roast it, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because they're going back in to complete the process. So let's see if we got a big spoon. Let me get you a spoon. I don't know. I'm not one of those. Okay. So now. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil over this. Can you get me, I've got some lemon juice there. Mm -hmm. A little bit of this lemon juice. Okay, let's give this a good stir. And then, as you can see here, I've got some cornbread that I made a while ago. So we're adding some cornbread like breadcrumbs. So just take it, and if you don't have to use um, cornbread, you can use any breadcrumbs, but hey, this is soul food. And you had it. And I had it. <laughs> and this is going to help bind it. Because we're not putting any egg or anything like that in it. Although there is egg in this. 
You smell gorgeous, Andrea. What have you got? What's your perfume? Oh, she does. You smell huh? amazing. You do. Oh my word. You Oda, smell it's really called, good. It's called Oda Barker. Oda Barker. Hi, guys. Oda Barker. It's got this waft of just gorgeousness. Oh, God. Oh, God, darling. Okay. Here we go. So, here we go. So, let's just get it like that. And now comes the stuffing part. You want to just get it inside your marrow. And then this is going to bake for about 40 minutes until the marrow is nice and soft. And then we're going to top this with some cheese because this ain't oh, vegan. Oh, so if I say it went from being a vegan delight well, to non. <laughs> yeah, it, but it, it shows. It can be, yeah. It can it's be. Absolutely. Cheese, don't yeah, I'm, oh, yeah, actually, I've got vegan cheese too, but I ain't yeah. putting it on. <laughs> <laughs> so this is the thing. I always just assume that there's so few options for vegans to eat, but that is oh, not true not. at all. There's you loads. Can, if there's you're creative so and you really want to cook, scope, yeah. there's a big scope. And it's easy to incorporate into your own recipes. Yeah. Wow. Did you that? hear that squish? <laughs> what was that? Squelch. 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 It sounds a bit naughty. <laughs> okay, now this. I'm going to say, because remember I said, when I do my curry, I want some veg to go on the side. So I'm going to do like the chicken curry, rice, and then this is going to be sprinkled over. Cool. So I will add the rest of this to that. Excellent. So this is now going back in the oven. Looks amazing, Mom. I forgot I just took it out of the oven. Oh, <laughs> did you burn yourself, Mother? No, I did not. I got <laughs> asbestos fingers. <laughs> but I felt the heat. <laughs> You're right. I feel the heat all the time. Look at me, so. <laughs> it, it don't matter. Look at me. You need a tissue? I, I have, look, girl, girl, I keep a tissue. I keep a tissue. People like to see I'm working hard. Look, if you see any chefs out there looking all dried and powder, they ain't do sh twiddly. It was their team in the back yep. doing all the hard work. The hard work comes in the prep. Anybody can stand there and go, and now, <laughs> you just add this to it, and I'm just, oh, come on, <laughs> tap me down, ain't no tapping the mama down, I'm a like a tap. <laughs> uh. <laughs> okay, we'll be back to you, bye. Okay. Okay, everybody, have a look at there. That is my marrow. Oh, wow. I'm going to just add a touch of this stock. Is that from the sweet potato soup? This is from the sweet potato soup. Just to give it a touch of stock at the bottom. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and now I'm adding to that some cheese over the top. Ooh. Putting it back in the oven and then for about another 10 15 minutes and oh, then it's wow. done. But the what? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because it's going to be pa packaged up. It's not oh, going to okay. arrive to them all melted. No, oh, yeah, of morning. course. That's what I was thinking. Because it, but it, it needs, needs to, to. But I need melt to melt it and then to cool it. But I need to. Make, I need exactly. Yeah. I need to get it. Cooked My brain didn't go that far. So that it <laughs> cools and ready for. That looks delicious, Mum. And you could do this with vegan cheese as well. Cool. All right. So everybody, have a look at my stuffed marrows. Oh, yes. I think they look pretty appetizing myself. Yum. So everybody, we live at a peace and love and so to pass out <laughs> from the mama. Goodbye. Stay safe. Stay happy. Keep a smile on your face. Don't stick your hand in any hot water. I got cooked fingers. I'm used to this kind of stuff, okay? Use a spoon. 
it's going to be like rubber.